I think red tail boas simply make the perfect large snake. Getting at a size that isn't too big to become overbearing for just one owner to keep, while still staying at a size that gets pretty impressive. Now in yesterday's video, we went over all the information on how large red tail boas can get and really what is their full size. However, the question today is going to be not how big they get, but how fast do they grow? So I wanted to take today and answer that question going in depth on the growth rate of red tail boas, you know, how small they start out with to how big they eventually get, and really everything in between, what that comes with as far as feeding, housing, things like that. So with all that out of the way, let's sit back, relax, let's dive into red tail boas growing from really small to really big. That's about it. Roll the And now before we get this video started, I guess it's uh, apparent to note that you guys have been uh, pretty ruthless in the comment section with these, the mustache comments. Two videos, I had two videos out about the mustache and you guys were just relentless with it. So congratulations internet, you bullied me into shaving the mustache off. Now you get, you get this. Are you happy? Was this what you wanted? Probably not. Let's get into the video. I think we'll structure this video into the four main growth cycles of red tail boas and root really most like uh, most of the other reptiles that are around. Uh, that pretty much is the four stages being hatchling, juvenile, subadult, and then, oh, adult. Wow. So starting out, let's get into the hatchling phase. This is pretty much when you first get your red tail boa, if you're getting from a uh, captive bred breeder and getting a baby that is. Uh, this is the cute, adorable phase where they fit in the palm of their hand. Look, look how cute this little baby is. Adorable. It don't stay that long, that, that cute and adorable for long, folks, but for now it is. Now at this size, red tail boas are usually around 20 inches as hatchlings whenever you get them into your care. Uh, pretty much for this, you don't really need too much as far as extravagant enclosures go. Uh, most people just use a 20 gallon or equivalent as far as housing goes. Uh, of course, your general care stuff, you know, heat pad, anything like that. Um, and then as far as feeding, usually the typical pinky, fuzzy, or even hopper would suffice depending on the size of the hatchling. However, as I stated before, those snakes do not stay that cute and small for very long. Now as the months goes on, you will notice that your red tail boa is growing quite pretty steadily. Uh, getting down to the point where they are around six months of age, you will see that your red tail boa should be anywhere from three foot and over. Uh, at that point, you're obviously noticing two things, huh? A 20 gallon is a little too small for this red tail boa now, and number two, I gotta feed it a lot, a lot larger meals than say a fuzzy. At this point in red tail boa's life, it's usually when I recommend upgrading the enclosure. Of course, a 20 gallon is not going to be sufficient for a snake at that size. And even at this point, but they're just gonna keep growing. They're, they're definitely, they're not stopping here, folks. It's not three feet, I'm good to go. Nope, it, it, it keeps going up. So you might as well just get into a larger setup at this point in time. It's at this point I would recommend getting something like a custom enclosure, something like a four foot by two foot by two foot is an awesome option. Of course, if you're interested in any four foot by two foot by two foot by an amazing manufacturer, of course, that is a Zen Habitat. You can check them out right down there. I mean, just look at this enclosure. Fantastic. That would be beautiful for a red tail boa. You can find that, like I said, down there in the description. Other than that, there's other things you can do also, like um, there's other cages, I guess, as well. But Zen Habitat, I mean, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Move, moving on. Now that you have your red tail boa in a much larger setup, you'll be able to have some room to, you guessed it, grow! Cause that's what they do. That's literally, that's what red tail boas do. They they grow, they grow, and then they get big. That's what, that's what this video is about. And that's why we are going to keep going with this video. So now getting into what we would refer to as the sub-adult stage. Uh, this is going to be when your uh, red tail boa is usually around the age of about a year or so. Uh, at this point, they can get anywhere from four to five feet in length in just a year. Now, now remember this, we are talking about a baby that was this big, fit in the palm of your hand to a four to five foot animal. That's, that's full-grown ball pythons, people. A full-grown ball python is what you get in a boa in just one year of owning it. 
In my experience, I usually see the fastest growth rate of red tail boas as just being that zero year to first getting it. Um, anywhere from getting about uh, the year to year and a half, I see them growing the fastest. At this point, the growth is going to slow down a bit. This is something that is a huge misconception about red tail boas is the fact that, you know, you get this animal that grows pretty heftily uh, in such a small amount of time in their first year, and then they just think, well, if it grew four to five feet in one year, it's gonna grow eight to 10 feet in two years. That, that math, while, while that math sounds so sound, airtight, uh, it's, that's actually not the case. It, it doesn't work like that. At this point, red tail boas are pretty slow growing. They don't grow really a lot faster. You'll probably see somewhere around an extra foot or so uh, as the years go on until you get to that adult boa stage, which is going to be how big exactly, Dakota? H how big? How big do those boas get when they're adults? Well, well, viewer, I'm glad you asked because I'll show you. I will show you right now after this clip ends. Alrighty, and here. Oh, here we have Viv. Viv is my adult red tail boa. She's a common boa. She's not a true red tail for all the people that are going to talk shit in the comments saying that I saying that I one thing Viv loves to do it's anchor herself in the most inconvenience of places. So this is Viv. Uh, she's my red tail boa. She is about four or five years old at this point. As you can see she is a Pretty big girl, spanning at just a little over uh, seven feet in length. This is a pretty, this is a pretty large boa. Uh, this is pretty much what you can expect in the upcoming years of your boa, going from, of course, that first year four to five to a couple to a few years later, getting to around this size. This definitely isn't something like your average python, such as a retic or Burmese. Uh, they definitely grow quite fast at a much faster rate than boas. Uh, boas just seem to be a little bit more of slow growers. They kind of just have this gradual uh, growth rate to them as the years go on. Of course, just going from a snake that was at a year old, around four feet, to a snake that is now four or five years old, and still only at this seven feet mark, it's, it's pretty slow growth, I'll be honest. Now with Viv at this age, I keep her into an enclosure that is around six feet long by three feet deep by about 18 inches high. This actually won't be her permanent enclosure. As she continues growing, she's actually almost outgrown the current setup that she is in, at which point I will be moving her into an eight foot by four foot by probably also four foot high. I found that boas really enjoy uh, having a bit more space and a bit more height to be able to climb around stuff. Believe it or not, these aren't ground boas. Apparently these snakes like being up in the tree. So as keepers, we should give that to them. Ugh, and well, anchored in this weird she like oh my god it's so tangled look take take a look at this folks this is what you deal with with red tail boas it's just completely anchored in there i i don't know we're gonna have to take a brief intermission while i uh, try to fix this all right folks and there you have it red tail boa growth rate going from something that was about this big in 2015 to something that is now this big. Pretty crazy, right? They grow. That is one thing is for sure. And now you know approximately how much, where, where are you going? Uh, uh, approximately how much they grow at in, uh, they, they grow and now you know how fast they grow at a current amount of time. That's what I was trying to say. Well, folks, that is going to wrap it up for today. So I believe this is the part where I do my outro now. Uh, of course, once again, huge thank you to Zen Habitats. If you're not familiar with Zen Habitats, they are an aftermarket enclosure maker that make brilliant designs such as this one right here. Look at that. Woo! That is a nice looking enclosure. Am I right? Am I wrong? I don't know. I think I'm right. Uh, if you're looking for Zen Habitats or just a nice four by two by two enclosure for your juvenile red tail boa that it'll stay happily in for about that first year of its life. Uh, you can find that right down there in description uh, that I have where I also have a couple other stuff such as t-shirts. I got merch designs peeps right here. I don't know. I don't know if you guys know. I, I don't. 
Ugh, I don't know if you guys know know much about him. She's just weighing me down. If you, I, I do have T-shirts. They're right there. They're pretty cool stuff. That's also down there at Teespring, where we have Patreon. Patreon.com/slash/DBCBExotics, where you get up-to-date updates on all of the breeding projects happening here at DBCB Exotics. Of course, we have quite a few. If you're unfamiliar with me, we have a playlist that has a bunch of stuff that what I'm all about. Um, while I still continue to talk, I'll just try to unravel her. Uh, we also just have a bunch of other stuff, cool pictures of the animals, you get first dibs on the animals I produce, and there's even some stuff for some discounts, like the cool merch you saw. That cool merch, you can get that discounted. What? All sounds pretty good, folks. That must be like, what, a hundred dollars? A hundred dollars a month? No siree, it's actually not that much. It's only, only it starts at a, starts at a, starts. Ugh. Starts at a dollar a month, folks. That's you can't you can't beat that. That's like what a McChicken a month. I think you can save you can save that McChicken for one time, one month, and head over and support me on Patreon. That would be pretty rad of you. That's about it. This girl's just giving me a run for my money. I, I, I guess taking her out every day for videos is starting to have a side effect. <laughs> Oh man, it's just anger is in the most inconvenient play. We're gonna wrap it up, folks. That is going to be it. Thank you, thank you guys for watching. Uh, come back tomorrow, we'll have more Red Tail Boa content. Roll the outro. Roll it.